The corrections employee tells me the housing unit involved in the staff assaults in the uprising earlier this month is still in modified lockdown. Some of those inmates still in segregation. I'm told that is not enough. The tension on the gallery was huge. You could feel just walking into the housing unit. This Department of Corrections employee was at the Tecumseh prison for the March 2nd uprising when prisoners killed two inmates and trashed an entire housing unit, causing fires and flooding. Inmates were sharpening weapons, using the ground to sharpen them. We're hiding the identity of the staffer who says the incident was a riot and says Corrections has not done enough to punish the bad behavior especially the inmates in segregation, the ones who killed the prisoners and others who assaulted four staff members two weeks later. They get their TV, they get all their property, they get their own room, they get an hour of rec a day. The staffer blames a softer policy on disciplinary confinement for the loss of control. Corrections Director Scott Frakes maintains there was not a riot and says studies have shown that strict isolation can actually make behavior more violent. Plain direct punishment in general is not an effective way to change behavior. Frakes also says employee safety is a top priority. Every day we have conversations about what do we need to do different, what are we missing, where do we need to focus our efforts, what Changes do we need to make? And I mean literally every day. The employee deals with something else every day, death threats. And until policy is changed, says staff at Nebraska prisons will never feel safe. You hear it every day. Every day. Every time an inmate doesn't get what they want when they want it, we hear it's like, that's why the next riot is going to happen. With more complete coverage, Camilla Ortiz, KETV News Watch 7.